Uh, yeah, right. never show Gribbly. Shout outs. Shout outs. Shout outs. Live. We're live. We're live. Our director says we're live. Hey, you're watching MSU's live. We're getting ready to do a live show. Uh, we're just setting up everything. Where's the makeup artist? I need the makeup artist to check me. I'm still <laughs> hungry. Just, <laughs> I'm a star. I'm a star. We Erase have, my wrinkles. <laughs> we have a great show today. We we're had uh, Robert Oinby on uh, just a minute ago talking about books, but he's on now talking about another talent he has. Mm -hmm. We're oh, going to get Shana. all musical on you. This is the best makeup artist in the world. This, she takes care of us all the time. This is Shauna Hitchy Norris. We love her. She erases yeah, wrinkles with makeup. Yeah. And then Bob works magic with camera magic to erase yes. more wrinkles. And we're actually 90 years old in here. <laughs> <laughs> but we are live. And we just wanted you to see a little bit what happens while we're setting up before we you get to see the show. I know the production looks great. We have... Uh, Lower thirds, everything happening, all these graphics. That is done by Bob, the owner here. Bob Denny is like the man at DDX Media. And I'm tired. And he is tired. <laughs> we, we wear him out here doing these shows. But thank you all for watching. We're fixing to go live here in just a second and do the show with our guests. As opposed to without a guest. That's right. Because <laughs> that would just be a silly show. Well, we could talk to each other. We do that a lot. Oh, yeah. We could just Thank talk. You, that would be entertaining. You Thank you. Well. She's All right. awesome. We're just waiting to be counted back in. Stand by. Today on In My Shoes, our sponsor is Grill Billy's Barbecue. Stop down at Grill Billy's on 66 at Knife Works. Ask for Jeff Foxworthy to get the best barbecue in town. You make the sun shine. You seem to stop time. You make me feel like I'm walking on cloud number nine. You make the way. Hey, thank you for watching In My Shoes. I'm Rhonda. And I'm Susan, and we're back. And we are still live like we were a few minutes ago. And I am still hungry. Oh, my goodness. I'm taking you down to Grill Billy's. I want to go to Grill Billy's because we've been talking about Grill Billy's. And I need to go try some Grill Billy's because I hear it's really yummy. It is. You just go down on 66, down at Knife Works. It's right there. It's a little red wagon looking uh, barbecue place. Jeff Foxworthy will serve you. <laughs> yeah, he looks just like him, too. So you get entertainment and lunch. Actually, his name is Jamie Simpson, mm -hmm. but he is a great guy. He's actually been on the show before. Yeah, he was great. He was funny, too. You know, speaking of that, let's do, give some shout-outs. Oh, yeah. We got some people watching us live that we're going to give a shout-out to. First of all, we're going to give a shout-out to Tammy Goodwin, Goodman. I'm sorry. Tammy Goodman in North Carolina. Thank hey, you for watching hey, In My hey, Shoes. Hey, North Carolina. Right. I want to give a shout out to my family, my sisters and my mom, uh, women Jean, Laura and Edith. Hey y'all. Ball Play, Tennessee. If you don't know where Ball Play is, go down to Monroe County. It's way back in the woods. Play ball. Hey, play ball. Play Actually, ball. the Indians played there. That's how they named it. It used to be Play Ball uh, when the Indians was there and they translated it back over to Ball Play. Okay. I like it. I like it. Speaking of country, let's talk about our guest. All right. Well, he was on our show earlier talking about his books, but now he's got some very unique instruments to show us. So let's welcome back to the show, Robert Ombi. Yay, Robert. Hello. Good Thank to be you. back. Oh, hey, we're so still, much fun. We're, we're still, still matching. Look at this. We still match. It has been such a long time since we've seen you. It's been like <laughs> minutes. <laughs> yeah, yes. we, we didn't even get out of seats this time. <laughs> no, no. Well, thank you for coming back and to the second part of the show. And there's so much more of you than just book writing. Yes. Uh, I've, I've got to know you lately. And I, I, I am fascinated. I am, I love music. Okay, that, that's yes. always been my thing. Growing up, I'd get my guitar get on the front porch of my granny's parent, my grandpa and granny's house, and I'd put a can on a stick, and I'd, I'd dance hey, and I sing. Hey, I did that. See? I did that. My dad had to get after me because... He used to farm, had a plow that he would lean up against the oak tree in the front yard. I spied a can one day, similar <laughs> to one of the instruments here, and I took a nail and I nailed that 
that to the end of his plow handle. So I could, hey, I knew about reverberation before they invented mm. the technical reverb in for studio use. I knew about natural reverb because I'd picked one of those cans up and sang into it and talked into it. And so I knew yep. I, 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 that was something that I knew about, I and mean, then when they invented it, I thought, hey, I already knew about that. That's right. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. Kids are smart. Kids do things like yeah. that all the time. You know, I played with the cans like that. Yeah. Uh, I got uh, five-gallon buckets, and I made me a nice little drum set, and I set me some, I get my granny's kittles. Now, this is where I get in trouble. You get the old uh, metal kittles, you know, the yes. tin-looking ones. Set them up. That's good symbols. <laughs> oh, I've Sounds done. great. I've done the same oh, thing. I Sounds great until you get, get yelled at. <laughs> But speaking of unique uh, instruments of my drums and stuff like that, and, you know, I made different little things as a kid, you know, get a string and pull at it. Yeah. Let's talk about some things you have here today. Okay. What do you want? Let's, let's go with... Let's go with a can. You just talked about having now, a can. So these, we're about it. these are not very refined, and this one was just kind of rusty, and uh, a piece of wood that... Uh, just a few years ago, I think it was a couple, three years ago, I thought, well, now I remember when I used to sing into one of these cans on my dad's uh, plow handle that I got in trouble for, <laughs> nearly got whipped for. And uh, I thought, well, how would it be if I put a piece of wood, cut that down? Of course, now, now Mountain Man actually put this one together for mm -hmm. me. Uh, I, had, I had another one put together. And I was about to forget. He put this one together, and we were we were experimenting, and we experimented with the uh, neck coming from the inside out. And he said, "Well, let's try it this way. You get the resonation from it this way," and it worked even oh, wow. better this way. So uh, now they don't have a lot of volume, but they're so much fun to play. See, you can actually play them. Look at that. But they. Uh, I like that. It, <laughs> oh, wow. I like that. And it's got two strings. Two strings. I could two, probably two learn strings. to play two strings, maybe. Two strings. That's now, awesome. You can also use, I don't know whether I have the wood dowel. I thought I had a wood dowel. Maybe I don't. But if you, yes, I do. Here okay. My, I have a wood dowel. A wood awesome. Dial. <laughs> All right. If I can color coordinate and not know what they're wearing, I can come up with a wood dowel. You can also <laughs> use these, and if you notice, these are fretless, kind of like a yeah. violin, so you can slide from one note to the other and get your notes kind of like... Kind of wow. like that. Almost like a steel but, guitar type. Yeah. It's hard, to, cool. it's hard to play sitting in a, in a chair like wow. this. I'm, I'm, but anyway, it's, uh, that's, that's one. And uh, I want to go to this one next. All right. Because this is a special, I'm probably getting out of the camera shot. Sorry, Bob. <laughs> getting out of the camera shot <laughs> no, here. No. And uh, Lord this, have mercy. What is that? I grew, this is a gourd. A gourd. It's called a bushel basket gourd. I grew gourd. these in my <laughs> garden, and uh, is this that one like has a been vegetable or a, what is it? A gourd. A, a, what's a gourd? You know, like uh, the smaller gourds are used for bird birdhouses, birdhouses, and, and things yeah. like that. Those kind of gourds. They're they're not edible that no. I know oh, of. So okay. I don't think so. Uh, so they, they although we're kind of like a pumpkin, but they're kind of hard yes. shell and yes. you just dig all that stuff. And I'll learn very, something new every day. They're very durable. Yeah. But yet, once you get the clean the pulp out of the inside, and I understand we're probably going to do a show on how we put these together and actually show yeah. how it's done. But uh, you get a lot of good resonation from this. And this one, once again, was just kind of rough. It, it's, it's, not, uh, it's not refined or anything. I just kind of cut it out. I just want to see how it would work. And I was saying, how could I put this together and get, uh, get a sound out of it? So... Uh, I did that, and there's something special about this gourd. I signed my name to it, and uh, because and I put uh, uh, silver dollar fish on the side here because oh, wow. this is the one that I played on the movie Silver Dollar Fish 
on uh, the song Cooper's Creek. This is the actual gourd that wow. you're hearing. Oh, wow. in that so that tune. actually was played on a movie. This is the one, this is the actual gourd because this was the best sounding one I had. And, uh, <laughs> and I played it on the movie. And this one, <laughs> thank you, thank you, Bert. I didn't know I had an audience. Yes, you, always. <laughs> okay, but if you, if you uh, look at the trailer, listen to the trailer, and watch the trailer, Silver Dollar Fish, when it comes to the part about Cooper's Creek, this instrument is the one that's playing on there, and the reason I signed this and put that on here, the information on here, is because this one is yours. Oh my what? gosh, what? She has all kinds of cool treats today. Oh, that is wow. Awesome. I am going to learn. I'll remember, <laughs> I'll remember, and I'll, I'll make something I'll like, for you special. Oh, oh, we can just get a band going here. Hey, how it's about like this? Dueling, Let's just get it going. Boards. I mean, right on, yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, this wow. one. Is That's a awesome. four string, and once again, it was just an old, dusty, kind of rusty cookie or chocolate tin, whatever it is. And this one, Wayne McCarter, Mountain Man, on the radio show. Mountain Man on radio. Man. On Monday, Monday, Mountain Monday morning radio. Mountain Monday morning yes. radio. Yes. yes, you got to tune so, into that, guys. But now this one, uh, he helped me put together, and we kind of worked this one up to see how it would work. My favorite song. <laughs> Mary had a little laugh. <laughs> yeah. Now, I was told by Mountain Man... We signed this one, too. Oh, wow. Mountain Man said, uh, give this to Rhonda. Oh, my goodness. Man, I am a red-headed uh, stepchild here, man. I didn't know you were going to be on food, the show. I ain't got food. I ain't got instruments. You're hungry, too. <laughs> You're oh, hungry. Okay. I'll, I'll play this on your song, Butterflies. How's that? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I love this. I, I, you know, well, Rhonda's I, I, my friend. I know she's gonna give me one of them somewhere, will. <laughs> right, Rhonda? Yeah, I'll let you use it. Y'all are witnessing this on live television now. I love it. Hey, we're Thank gonna be guys. we're gonna be making more of these, so <laughs> we will we will make some extras and get them over for the two. redheaded stepchild. For the redheaded stepchild. Whoa. Now, this is something. This is a surprise uh, that you all didn't surprise. know. Surprise! Right. Right. Now, already. You love surprises. Yes, though. I do. Now this is going to be hard to do in a in a chair got, like you, this. Because it's got more strings. But this one, <laughs> six six strings on this one. But you know how much I love to write songs. Yes. And it, it's my songwriting. Is this interfering with the microphone? Am I okay? You're fine. All right. I'm afraid I'm going to muffle it down here. Uh, Bob's going to yell at me if I do anything wrong, though, so I, I can expect that. But people but, have to yes. realize we are live, and we no, do have technical difficulties yes. sometimes. <laughs> Knowing, uh, uh, being familiar with uh, that I write songs, and I have uh, gone into a few places from my top 10, top 40, top 200 songwriting. Top 10 uh, blues gospel got me into the blues. Wow. Uh, one of the things that helped get me into the blues, my wife and I, Candy, in the Blues Hall of Fame, and we're the East Tennessee Ambassadors. You can go to the official Blues Hall of Fame website and look up Tennessee, East Tennessee Ambassadors. And we're listed there, and some of our blues music that's been top ten and so forth is listed there. Wow. And in uh, 2009, we were inducted into America's old time country music hall of fame now our publishing and recording company rob can records and productions we are also members through the company we're officially listed uh as a member of rockabilly hall of fame wow right. that is i mean really <clears throat> thank you very much so elvis was on earlier so i'm trying <laughs> yes. to yes, i can't yes. do that the way he <laughs> anyway, 
This, I like writing songs and getting ideas, and when I get an idea that sticks in my mind, I have to do something with it. So I sat down yesterday, and I finished this up this morning, and the title of this song is In My Shoes. What? Wow. Now, we were talking about how I put my songs together. You can see all the uh, chicken scratching that I do. <laughs> I scratch out, I'll write down a chord over a phrase or a particular part of the phrase, and it doesn't really fit, it doesn't flow, so I have to move it. So this is a part of the trick of songwriting. You have to get your words, your notes coordinated. So I'll do the twists and turns in my mind can make and mold you. Sometimes they may not be what you would choose. But what I've learned as I'm walking down life's journey You can only know if you're in my shoes In my shoes you could understand me better You would take no thought even if the souls were thin for in my shoes, life would give us one direction, looking forward and not back to where we've been. Now, there is... Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you so much. That is awesome. There's another verse to it. I'll not, for the sake of time, I don't know how we're doing on time, but uh, I'll just... Uh, I'll just kind of, uh, that's not one to stay there. <laughs> I'm having technical difficulties. I get up, but I'm tethered I'll with the microphone. There you go. <laughs> Another verse, second verse to it is, Now my shoes may not always look to suit you. The shine may lose its luster and its glow. But my shoes only fit and suit my purpose. Unless you've worn them, I'm the only one that knows. Oh, wow, I that is that. beautiful. I love now, that. Do I have your permission to do a production on this and bring yes. you a CD copy of it? Absolutely. You do. You do. Okay. If we have your permission to play it on the show. Oh, of course you do. <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing. Actually, the song is about what the, the show was started for. The show was started to inspire and to lift people up out there mm -hmm. and let them know until you walk in our shoes, you don't know what we're facing. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That is what I tried to capture when I put the words together and the phrases. I wanted the phrases to match what you all were trying to do here. So I'm glad you're pleased with it. Yes, and thank you. That is I awesome. Thank you so that much. Awesome. You're sure uh, I hate to end the show because there's always an end when it begins, but we have to go now. Thank you so much for being on the show. Again, I'm Rhonda. And I'm Susan. And don't forget to climb that mountain and find that sunshine behind the clouds. Bye. Bye. Today on In My Shoes, our sponsor is Grill Billy's Barbecue. Stop down at Grill Billy's on 66 at Knife Works. Ask for Jeff Foxworthy to get the best barbecue in town.